the med on? Imagine Hell the yeah. I'm on the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think we're going. Shit. Are we good? We just talk. I'm good. Me. Are y'all good? Yeah. Talk with the rhythm. Talk, talk with flows. <laughs> all right. It's episode something or other of the Sunwood Sunday podcast is definitely not coming out on a Sunday because I'm probably just going to drop it right when I'm done editing it because I didn't drop one on Sunday, but we got a special guest here all the way from Philly. We in the building. JPA. That's me. AKA. Should I say your real name? You've already have on the pod. Huh? You had last. Uh, yeah, AKA but that's a Jacob. different guy. <laughs> is that AKA the-, the smoothest of all time. AKA. So I guess, um, I I and then we're here with Brooks, of course. This? Huh? What? We got Brooks here. Yep, I'm here. You haven't I been can. here since the first one, have you? No, I haven't. Damn. I'm, Welcome back. Yep. Making it, making, making it my second home. You were here for the first one, the unposted one. Yes. Oh, right. Yes, I was. With the, the, the audio only. Yeah, I'm, it's never getting released. I, I don't think, think it even it. exists anymore. It. it wasn't that great. When I listen to podcasts, <laughs> it's audio only for the most part. I can't because I'm... I just, well, I'm usually like at work or something. Like I doing like something. Oh, okay. I usually watch them before bed. So or I like in the ha- car. I, watch them, I listen to them a lot in the car. I'm all, I, I, drive I guess I do. I used to listen to Tiny Meat Gang podcast That's a great in the podcast. car. That's What's a phenomenal that? podcast. That's a what? It's a phenomenal podcast. Oh, it was so, it was so good. When I, like when I was first coming, like when I was in high school, and I would come out to Austin to go to skate camp and council out there, I'd be driving, and I would get tired of listening to music, so I would just listen to Tiny Meat Gang, and I laughed so hard at one point I had to pull people over. who don't know who that is are going to be really confused that you're talking. Oh, about Tiny, Tiny Meat Gang Meat is Gang. Cody Co. And Noah Miller, their podcast. If you haven't heard, it's been around for like a long ass time. It's fucking hilarious. They just talk about having small dicks the entire time, pretty much. Pretty much. They've done like 500 episodes of it. It's incredible how much content they've milked out of it. Um. Well, I guess we should talk about probably music. Huh? Yes, I probably. Guess, dude. It's like, it's whatever. We can talk about anything. So we should talk about what's happening actually tonight. Tonight? Oh, shit. With it. New Drop song. It. So by the time Comes this out. is out, the song will definitely be out. Oh, so for the link sure. will be in the description. So I should go run that up. But um so I want to talk a little bit about how Jacob got involved with Sunwood Escape. It's a tale that is really kind of simple. I was just like Brooks, find people that are not shit at making music. And he was like, Cool. So then he found and Jacob. He failed because he found me. Yep. And then he found Jacob and Jacob was like more than just not shit. He's all right. He's really good. And I was like, wow, let's work with him. So then we sent him this one beat. And he like made a, a, a he did the classic Jacob where he makes a hook. And then he's like, oh, I don't really fuck with it. And even though the hook was like yeah, really good. Bro, I really, you really, I really made that shit in like the same hour you sent me the beat. I know, that's what I was so upset. never happened since. I was like, damn, we're going to get a song today. And then you're like, uh, oh, maybe not. Let's figure it. I like guitar beats. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> And then I learned, and then I learned how to make guitar beats. And he was like, "Oh, I like boom bap now." I just so it. listen. I'm just training you to be ahead of the curve, dude. That's I I fucking now I can make guitar beats. I'm trying to figure out how to make boom bap beats. And it was funny because back when you wanted guitar beats, I was trying to figure out how to make boom bap beats. And then I was like, "All right, let me figure out how to make guitar beats." And then I tried to figure it out. Then I figured it out. You're just keeping them honest, toes. Just, just make music. That's what I figured out at this point. But it's just like. You just got to make what feels right. I guess, And then yeah. if it feels right, it's going to feel right. Yeah. It's going to come out right. So basically, what, did you hit him up on e- via email? Instagram, for sure. Yeah, yeah, Instagram. Well, from a live stream, though. From a live stream. Patrick CC Live. Was it? Yeah. Fucking cold-hearted was, I submitted it, and he, maybe. That's not the first song I heard. I didn't, I then this is this is a new development. If you thought I found you through that, I didn't find you through that. Then what was it for? Well, uh, how? Did I, you find him through SoundCloud? I yeah, it was you know, through I, SoundCloud. I wasn't gonna go on my phone, but now I need to find. I'm pretty friends. sure it was, you found him through SoundCloud. It was through SoundCloud, and I think it was connected to Patrick CC. Bro, but it wasn't like it wasn't through his. Sure. I know the first song I ever listened to was. Shit. It was either it was either Sway or it was uh Okay, which you had released at that. But it time. was um 
Was it on one of Patrick CC's like? No, I think what happened was. I was mean, is that a dream? Did I just like? I think I was going through like <laughs> Patrick CC's live when it, whenever he was like making playlists for his lives. I was going through that, and one of your songs was one of the recommended ones on like that right side. I think he and that's said how I found it. he liked it, but it wasn't like he didn't love it. Yeah. Did I you mean, just pull up the old expect. DMs? Yes, bro. How long ago is that? Twenty September twenty twenty. Damn. Now we're in March of twenty twenty two. Yep. That's Almost two crazy. years. Coming up Time this year. passes. Time is relative. Time is passing on. Wow, I really thought like, time is your passing first DM on. Was like I just saw Shout you on the like, CC live stream. What? I really thought your first DM was like I, I saw you on the CC live stream. Nah. Fuck, dude. That must have been a dream. Something. Was I even on the live stream? Did I even get on there? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't I know you I ever did. did. Did you submit a song? So did you find him from a CC like um? Playlist. Como se dice? Play, you thinking a playlist? Playlist. No, it was I was looking at a Patrick CC playlist, and one of his songs was the when they recommend you songs that are oh, like it was, oh, okay. that. I don't remember That's what song it was exactly. Shit. That's some I, lucky. Yeah, shit. I think it I think it was okay, but I'm not sure. But then the song stayed up for like two weeks. Yeah, too. yeah, Why? like most of, like most of your SoundCloud songs. Bro, no, I post them and then nobody listens to them, so I'm like, <laughs> this is embarrassing. I don't even want to have it up anymore. <laughs> It's like when you post an Instagram picture and it gets three likes, and you're like, you know, I don't even want this up anymore. What? I get, I That's get not. Especially should... when my other songs, like, I do, have I like do numbers thousand. on Instagram. I, I do like five. You shouldn't. <laughs> I don't think you should think about posting a song the same as an Instagram post. It's just like it's kind of like, um, demoralizing, I guess. Like when you, you know, you I have I have songs up there with a couple thousand. I have a song with ten k on there. Like then I post something that's got four hundred likes. You have a song month. with ten k. Ten k. Imagine that'd be a twist. Well, I don't know. I guess because I'm not an artist, I don't know. Yeah, it was just like I don't. I didn't want SoundCloud people to, is definitely different than like if you're actually trying to push yeah. something. And like I like I didn't want to. You like, never know when someone could. It's embarrassing. Found. I don't know. I guess. Um. So we found you, and then. What was the first song we made together? First song. Full song. Full song. Does, that, does that even exist yet? Yeah. yeah. We'll start easy. Then. I mean. But ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, facts. Yeah. Facts. I mean, it was, was it the first one? What? Was it the first that. one? Uh-huh. What did you say? I said redacted. Redacted? Yeah. They don't know about that song. Facts. So. Or do I'm they just, know where I'm it's just, going? I'm just, I, oh, oh, they don't, they don't, they, what? Where's it going? That, it's, yeah. it's not going anywhere. It's, I'm just thinking for me. I'm about to leak it. It's going to the hard drive. I'm about to leak it. So. <laughs> yeah, Ridiculous is getting leaked. No, the whole thing. The whole project? Yeah. I'm, Even the I songs mean, that aren't done? Yeah, a lot of them. <laughs> it's getting leaked. Open verses. Um. So Philly, what's Philly. that like? Philly. Well, I'm not, I'm not originally from Philly. I'm from a little town called Westchester. It's a college town. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like probably an hour 15 away from Philadelphia. Um, not much goes on. We got a college, and that's about the most interesting part of the entire city. Nice. Um, cool people, though. Cool people there that I've always, you know, hug around. But uh, recently, in the last couple months, I'm like living more in Philly. Oh, okay. Still not all the way like Center City or anything, but like now I'm in Philly. You so. probably don't want to be like in there. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's all right. Uh, it's just, it's a city. That's really all I can say about it. Like, there's nothing like super crazy of like, it's not super special in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. It's just, it's got the things you need. That's what's up. Wait, do you, I guess you don't record anywhere there. You just record yourself? Nah, like home studio. Damn. I've never recorded in a studio. Wait, so have you been, like, doing sessions with other people? I have before, yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, because I just started recording other people here. We got a studio set up finally. Got the booth. And, like, but it's what's up. So what's, like, uh, what, like, releases are you planning on doing? Because we have Widit coming out now. And then um, you have any other thing? I do want to kind of see the reception on this one first. Yeah. And then let that decide what direction I want to go in. I have a couple ways I could go from uh, from with it. Yeah, I think that you shouldn't put yourself in a box, though. Agreed. You but 
you know, I gotta give them how do you people feel, what they Brooks? want. Huh? How do you feel about? Well, I mean, I don't, I don't want to say song names or nothing. No, 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 no. I'm saying I'm talking about. This is what I'm asking you about. What do you feel about? Oh, about like the if, box if thing? They, what do you feel about Jacob I, I constantly? Think, like he play, he'll play a song for. This is what Jacob does. He'll play us a song that he made, and it'll be so good, and I'll be like, "Yo, what the fuck?" He'll be like, "I fuck, Tony fucking like this song." But he, like, I know he likes the song. Like, I know he likes the song, but like, he should. It's like good music, and like he could I, release all. If you just released, if he just did it all, it's just like I don't know. I don't want to. Like, I think image is an important thing. I, I think you put yourself in a box trying to not put yourself in a box, if that makes sense. Because you're, you're trying not to release songs in a certain style that if you get a lot of good reception from them doing that, that then it, you, you just, feel like you have to continue to do that. Yeah, I mean, like, you got to, like, lean into what works, though, right? Like, you got to... If you know you could put a bunch of feelings out there, and then you want, and if people like it, I, yeah. I mean, a lot. I think a lot of it, like, I mean, it's, it's hard to say because, like, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me because I, I like a lot of different stuff, and there are definitely people that aren't as open and receptive yeah. to, uh, different genres, but. I mean, if I if I really like an artist, I like a lot of what they make if they do it well, yeah. obviously. And I think if you can do a lot of things well, then there's no reason. Yeah, and I mean, I know that. I should release more music. I know I should uh, trust the the sound more, but I don't know. It's just like it also like it's nerve wracking to release music. Like it's like yeah. for sure. I'm putting my like it's a vulnerable place, you know. It's yeah. I'm putting my creativity out there i'm putting you know my heart and soul into these songs do you think it's like different because you're saying something because like when i make a beat i don't give a fuck where like (laughs) you know what i'm saying like i feel like we've had we've talked about that before i also think it's a little more involved too like i feel like writing a song for sure like you're talking like even if you're not talking about anything you've personally experienced like it's still you're still like it's still your voice a beat is kind of like this sounds weird but i feel like a beat is almost sometimes like background noise in a sense to yeah i mean the song. you know what i'm saying yeah like yeah. it's that it's elevator you can also like kind of take your face away from the beat like for sure you can't like you can hide behind a beat you can't hide behind your voice like yeah if you hear a voice you can like oh this is that person but you hear a beat so oh, it's just a beat i mean there's like this artist bekusan who never showed us never like shows his face yeah but nice. it kind of never really worked i don't think but like but like, i could never like, really like rem- his I, voice is still him though a beat could just be a beat Hundred percent. But like a voice is always belongs to a person. That makes sense. So I mean, it's a voice. Because I can make place. a beat that sounds like someone else, and you can sound like someone else, but it's not your song. Like yeah. I can make a beat, literally copying another producer, and seriously release that. But you can't really make a song as an artist directly exactly. copying that, I mean, another artist. I run into that a lot. What's that? It's like I feel like I'm a very like like influenced person uh-huh. like i feel like i'm super malleable which uh-huh. is why like i try to like make sure the people around me are uh good influences and yeah. good like like i want to keep people who are driven around me keep my circle like you know successful yeah and so like and because of like i feel like i'm super malleable and because of that i feel like i tend to make music based on what i'm and literally, not, maybe not even what I'm listening to at the time, but just like the movies I'm watching, the fucking oh, okay, that makes the videos sense. that I'm watching, and so like, like I don't know, I forget what I was talking about. To be totally honest, with you. I, <laughs> I was going. <laughs> um, not nah, makes sense talking about influence. I feel like I'm the same way. Like, I feel like I want to be like it for so long. I wanted to make like the whole thing with tame impala for me like i wanted to make music that sounded like tame impala yeah but it was almost like i wanted to be influenced by it like literally yeah like i tried for that for sure i mean i mean like it took me a long time to find my own sound yeah i mean i think that's a that's a probably a common thing for artists oh, but yeah, like for sure I mean, you go on i mean i think most artists start with like just taking whatever their favorite like their artist favorite is art, yeah and trying to trying to make yeah. something similar to what they do and you know, I think what separates people that can can be successful 
in creating their own sound are people that can yeah. take that and take you know the the lessons that you learn in creating something like an artist into some, and taking it and turning it into something original and still you know knowing how to make it sound good cuz you kind of learn how to do that through you know copying someone yeah i feel I, wait go ahead i just i don't know i think i do i i do kind of feel like i've found a sound i don't know if it's my sound but it's i do want to make i want to make something different i like i and I'm like I've been that's really why I haven't released so much any music in the last fucking like year and a half or whatever, however long it's been. Like it's just I wanna find something that's different. Like, like I wanna put out music that no one's heard before. Yeah. But it's still like something that people can resonate with. Yeah, yeah, there's like this whole law of like when when like they come out with the next version of the iPhone, right? They right. have to make the next version of the iPhone. Different enough, but also recognizable. Fact. Because if something's too different, then people are gonna be like, "Oh fuck this." That's why, like at first, so many people t- were turned off to new, like the New York drill in the UK, like, yeah. because they were like, "What the fuck?" Like the snare's not hitting when, like, it's not the pockets different. Right. It was the but then people get used to it and they're like, "Okay," but with like if, w- with iPhone and shit, they're not trying. They don't have time for that. So the next generation is always recognizable enough, but with enough new features. Yeah to like uh make people still fuck with it and then that's kind of i feel like what you have to approach music the same way with it's like i'm making beats and i can try and make something completely crazy and different but no oh there's a point where you're gonna make it so different that nobody's heard it before where only you're gonna have the vision of what it's gonna sound like so it's gonna be like a task to find an artist who's gonna make that instrumental that i made like flourish so it's like yeah yeah i mean like Sounds a tricky thing to find. Like it's, it, I I think even like as a producer, it's hard to find a sound, especially For now sure. when there's so much, there's so much different music. And with pro- being a producer, it's hard to find a new sound because like unless you're making your own sounds, yeah, you're like everybody's picking from the same shit. Right. Everybody's going to Reddit. Yeah, pretty much just remixing. Everybody's getting shit producer grind out. packs. Uh, uh, getting. People getting mm-hmm. producer on packs, cymatics, like, uh, yeah. splice. Like, people are yeah. getting shit from all the same places. And I do think now is the time for, like, an innovation of sound. Like, if, like, because I feel like, because in all forms of entertainment, we're, like, super efficiency-based. Like, everyone's just trying to make I things think- the fastest, trying to make them the... The they just trying to make they what they know will work as fast as possible. I think what the... I think what the... I think the innovation that has to be made is like a step back with music because like you said, the problem is people are, dude, this thing keeps fucking falling. I just, I think that like, I think a breath of fresh air could change a lot yeah, of things. But I think and that that's breath what of I want to do is I want to provide like, that. We were talking about how the music back from like the seventies. Timeless. Timeless. Just timeless. And like, I like how a lot of the production that William and I did on on everything is like well so like for instance pink clouds there's like congas and stuff and these other instruments but when i first sent him the demo everything was either midi unless it was the guitars that i recorded or like synths i recorded but then whenever we made the song we recorded actual instruments i mean there's nothing ever is ever going to be live instruments huh i don't think anything will ever be live instruments like no or even like an analog like analog mics like when you have like uh, compressors and eqs and shit that are like analog like it just sounds better yeah you just feel it more yeah like real hardware yeah so at least for now until yeah i just feel like the move has to be like stop like just don't like y'all ever has there ever been like a fight video in high school and it got sent around so many times and then it was like compressed and all fucked up (laughs) dude like i wonder what's happening like I don't know how sounds work, but like, I mean, sometimes I'll hit up someone, be like, "Yo, send me that pack." Like, Joe will send me a pack, or Pelly will send me yeah. a pack, or something. Or like, you'll send me a sound. Like, that's all getting compressed and fucked up in some way. So like, the cleanest sound you'll have is the one that you make. Yeah. Like, I feel like that's why some of like the shit that we hear that we make, like that one of the songs that Willie made, like literally one of them is like a wrench. Like oh, those are always the clanking. best. What was the thing songs. that you made on the Woe song where it's like the clanky thing? It's like a wrench. Yeah. 
And so, like, literally just recording shit like that just makes it more authentic. Because nobody else has that exact sound. Yeah. Even though they're, like, literally, hey, buzz the do the little thing or something like that. That's cute how it just says William's Mac, Um, bro. Hmm? (laughs) No, you're good. But, yeah, I just think that people need to think, take a look back at, like, the classics. Like. For sure. I mean. But it's a classic. Facts, though. I mean, like, yeah, even but that song, I feel like, has, like, an older vibe. That's what I'm oh, yeah, saying, sure. bro. My mom, literally, she called and me I, yesterday. I'm, I'm assuming that's, like, the... You were talking earlier about, like, you think you have a, a sound. Yeah, like, that dude, that, know. like... I don't even it's know how to describe it. The, the it's orange. song you showed us. The it's orange vibe older has style. The, the older vibe, too. And it's coming back, for sure. And, like... Um, well, and it's, like, it's older. It, it's older, but it, it's, you know... It's still got a modern feel at exactly. the same time. I think that's how you innovate. Yeah. Is you take, you take, you take something stuff good from the old and bring something new with exactly. it. I think that's what innovation is. You build off what we have. Because, I mean, it's impossible at this point to make anything that's, you know, <sighs> doesn't take from anything. and Exactly. Has, I mean. That's true. No, like, it's, it's got to have something that people will recognize. Otherwise, it'll get completely rejected. Yeah. But so I was on the phone with my mom and she called me. She we were talking about some stuff for school. But she was like, uh, "Was that video clip on Instagram? Was that the new song that's coming?" Out? I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "Oh, I I like it." She's like, "I think there's bad words in it, but I still like it." And I was like, "Thanks." We mom. can but put like, out a clean version just for her. <laughs> what? We can put out a clean <clears throat> version just for nah, her. Nah, fuck that. So, uh, my mom like f- oh, they for th- for her to like. In first in the song, but in the chorus? Oh, I don't think so. She probably she thought she heard cuss words just because there was rapping. <laughs> she could sing along. <laughs> but my mom's not like the biggest fan of rap music, so. Well, if she's if she's we we'll to make saying, her if she's saying ah, there's cuss words, then she's probably not the biggest fan of rap. Huh? If she's, if she's no, she's not. She, I said she's not the biggest fan of rap. I know that's what I'm saying. Yeah, she's if, not. If she's worried about the amount of cuss words in the song. But considering that like I ha- didn't make the song at all, and she likes it, I have some clean music. Song. What? I got some clean music. Where? Most of it, honestly. You got that pop song? Like I feel like low key, like I'd be accidentally making clean music. Like it's really like. Unless I'm rapping, like if I'm rapping, rapping, I'm probably gonna cuss. But like if I'm just singing, like. <laughs> Like I, if I'm just singing, like I'm trying, like it's, it's. I guess I, like the like, vibe's not really there. Yeah. Like you ever hear like a pop singer like, like cuss stuff. in their song yeah, like, for no reason? Like Kevin it sounds Parker, so inorganic. Like, like, Kevin Parker will say like, "Fuck" for bullshit, and it's kind of weird. Like, like yeah, it feels like, off. It doesn't. I feel like off. bullshit fits, but like "fuck" is like kind of hard. Yeah, but like I feel like Sway might not have any cuss words in it. Dude, we that. could put Sway on a Kids Bob CD. Yo, speaking of Kids Bob, I need a Kids Bob with it remix. Dude, I fucking love Kids Bob. Were y'all like, what's the kid? Y'all came back from getting food so, last night. So we were talking about, we were, I was we were dead Kings. tired. We were and y'all Kings. were like, we're inspired. We listen to Kids Bob. I'm like, I'm going to fuck that. <laughs> we, were, Dude, we were at Kane's. We were laughing so hard we had to pull over. <laughs> It was bad, bro. What song were y'all <laughs> there, listening no, to? No, okay, but we were laughing because there's a them? whole nother content. We don't even need to get into that. Yeah, we're that's not, not getting this, into I don't know if that's for YouTube. <laughs> that is not for YouTube. We're not getting into that. What? Levitating, yeah, levitating by bro, and it low key, it levitating, low key was was levitating was not bad at they all. They had a, a dance remix of Goosebumps. Yeah. Of For what? like a club. Of Goosebumps by Travis but, Scott? But, but, but there is... Scott. No, so... Because it's Kids Bop 2022. Yeah. It's, there's, I don't remember who it was because DJs have shitty names all the time and right. they're just like really, it's basically just a bunch of capital letters. Right. But, um, it was some remix that like kind of popped off in the last couple of years that was of Goosebumps and they redid that. That's so That's fun. so lame. Kids Bop. You're Kids hating. Bop Wood. It's so Dude, hard. I remember I'm like still being mad we didn't at, make that EDM at, song. At we about. Oh, our favorite one, uh, at second favorite behind Levitating, I guess, was uh was uh Astronaut in the Astronaut Ocean. Astronaut in the Ocean, bro. Do you know what that song is? Astronaut in the Ocean, uh, rolling down in the deep. 
What you know about rolling, rolling down, down in the deep. deep. Oh, that song? Bro, they did that song. Oh, God. Bro, and the way they do their... I don't know if they always did this, but the it, way they do it is they just kind of take... I think they take, like, 18-year-old kids and then just pitch their voices <laughs> up and then just stack them, like, it's, 40 times. Yeah, no, there's there's definitely way too much stacking going on. Because it's, like... And they're not and leveled at all. Like, and they're it's just not all like, the same voice. It's that's not, like, in a like way that it sounds style, like a choir. Like chorus. It doesn't like sound like a children's chorus. choir. It, it doesn't sound like, like kids, though. It just sounds like high-pitched vocals. Yeah. That's weird. They're it's, just doing AI. It's, for it's, a, it's like they just high everything. everything. <laughs> like, I I think they've just been using the same kids since the beginning, and they just, <laughs> they just were like, <laughs> they were like, nope, just pitch that but shit I down. I do like. I feel like I don't know about you, but like I listened to Kids Bop as a kid. Like I, I, I don't. Have any I didn't memories, like Kids Bop as a kid because like it wasn't the song. Like and I would, I remember being at, at fucking Pearwood Skate Center, and I'd hear a song come on, and it'd be the real song. And then later I hear the kids about version. I'd be like, why don't they just play the real fucking version of the song? Like, this doesn't make any sense. You ever hear the the thrift shop kids about? Oh, yes. Banger. That has to be about. So bad. It's so bad. It's so good, though. So bad. You have to appreciate it for how bad it is. Watch the cameras about to fuck up pretty soon. I'm going to have to do it. No, it's literally trash. It's garbage. Garbo. But it's like good trash, though. It's like a bad horror movie. Like, it's just. It's great to watch. No, it's bad. It's, it's like, just like a bad, bad movie trash in general. That's bad. Yeah, that's like, like, like like bad movies. Sometimes baby are so poop bad they're entertaining. And, dead and that's what kids bop. That's what thrift shop. Kids thrift shop is. already was bad. I love whose that idea song, was man. kids bop? Like who? What? I'm, I'm 20 years <laughs> old, and I've never like like like. There's adults that are like, let's get a bunch of kids together. And they'll do these fucking remixes. They had an of island songs. where they did that at. <laughs> That's insane. They didn't get that one. Kids Bop Island. That one went over their head. Dude, Kids Bop was really bumping when we were like younger. It's like for What's sure. Bro, Kids Bop used to be just hard. Kids. Yeah, that's and what they I'm used saying. to do like 80s songs too. Like I, I think also like they introduce you like on like probably Disney or like some of them like. This is Carlos. He's like the one of the singers. He's like, "What's up, guys? I'm Carlos." Oh, I do. And they have like sweepstakes. Then, like, you can be the next kids buff. Like, what? You don't remember like the commercials it's, where they were like recruiting kids to, to be on kids. That's buff. fucking wild, <laughs> dude. It might be dude, a cult. You know what's crazy? That is, might it might be a cult. They're just churning out children. That Imagine the amount of kids buff. that saw the number and were like. Like Carlos now, like, I won't be on Kid Pop. Carlos we now is about. is twenty six, sitting in a dark room, with all of his bills paid, and he just sits there like tweaking Tear. out, and he's just like singing. They're not singing making good. He didn't songs. make that <laughs> much money. <laughs> he's like twenty six with that voice. They probably got japed. They got what? Japed. What? Well. I'm pretty sure saying gypped is like offensive, so I say japed now. Why would that be offensive? Because saying gypped is like saying gypsy and like saying jip. You learn something new every single day. No, I learn it from my fucking woke sister. Shout out spout, to your anytime sister. I say anything, she's like, Actually, you're offending the indigenous well, tribes of the banana forest. And and, uh, blah, blah, blah. What? I said, Stop offending people and it won't be an issue. I don't offend yeah, Matt, people. I say things like gypped, and being, she said, You're being offensive as fuck, right? Yo, now. is the camera still working? I see a the, red thing yeah, in the corner, which makes me feel like it's probably recording. I just know it's about to go off. There you go. Yo! Oh! That was cold as hell. I'm a <laughs> genius. A good end to the podcast. I feel like it's about to go off. No, it's, it's not the end. But that would be kind of fire. <laughs> I left my headphones on. Are you going to cut it up so it doesn't look like we just the camera just done? Yeah, I always cut it up like that, but I try to do at least... Oh, so this is a common thing. Yeah, this happens every time. Yeah, it it, it stops beautiful. in 30 minutes every this time. Happens oh, I knew that. Every time. This I don't know why the, I knew hey, that, but I'm I knew not that. Com- this is the equipment we have right now, and honestly, it's pretty fucking good for just starting all this shit Yeah, out. for sure. I mean, yeah. I mean, we're, we're uh, borrowing from the studio setup, but yeah. I mean, yeah, like, well, not any of this shit. I mean, the, inter- the yeah. interface. Yeah. Not my interface. <laughs> Who is that? Hey, man. Who is that? Shout oh. out whoever that is. Uh, shout out, sir. And man. No, so. Uh, hey, hey, yo. Whoa. We're getting close on this couch. Getting a little suspect over there. So, um, you know? 
I mean, we got a black it'll couch. It'll be it'll be what it'll be. It's the casting couch. We got a black couch. It's the, the casting couch. No, couch. that one's more casting couch. That one is definitely, and it smells like one. That's it's definitely like why couch. it has that smell. Yeah. There was a tripod in here when we moved in. Just there was sitting. Is that fact? Facing the couch. No, there I wasn't. Think we should have said I Kevin Sub. I was with you for a second, like, though. Yo, I fully what the fuck him. just moved in? <laughs> junction on something else. Shout out the Junction. Real Bro, talk. Not shout out the Junction. No, shout out the Junction. We got to appreciate where we came from. No. We're making no, it out the Junction. We made it from a utopia and then came to the <laughs> shithole that was the did Junction. Did you make it out or did it? Like, it, that's more. For this is us, though. Yeah. This is huh? this is us, though. Like this is y'all place. This is where y'all are starting your life. Everything before that was childhood. That's the that's the no. That's the prequel. No, no. I had already left. That's the like. That's the. That's I already the, went to Kerrville. I already left my. I already left. Yeah, but then you went back. Yeah, but I was. I'd already. I was already like. All right. But I'm saying like all that stuff I had to dress was myself prelog. Every morning, that's the, that's not the real story. My mom wasn't there. That childhood is prelog. Like that's not that like that's the before the but story. But I'm telling that's the you that I was exposition. I that. <laughs> what the fuck are y'all on? Being distracting is what. Uh, okay, whatever. Left the Molly over yeah. there. Yeah. No, fuck the junction. Without sharing the sink. <laughs> the <laughs> garbage disposal stops working every fucking six weeks. The hot water just goes off listen, whenever listen. damn fucking... You gotta start somewhere, though. Feels like it. Brooks's toilet... We have a booth, though. Mm-hmm. There's a booth. You didn't have a booth before. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, no. Could have had a booth. Now, you can make music every day, all day, without having to drive anywhere. That's true. You and wake I hate up recording when William's songs. right next to me, because he gets frustrated sometimes, and I feel like he's mad at me, because most of the time he probably is. <laughs> and when I'm out here, I could just be like, oh... Watch TV. Don't matter. Exactly. It's a vibe in here. Dude, sure. it really is. It's that, I, li- I fuck with this apartment. It's a little janky in like the... Specifically in the bathroom area. But like, yep. if you just yep. don't use the bathroom ever, it's a great place. Yeah. Fantastic place. If you're just Kim Jong-un, you, you don't the have a butthole. Every day. Then you're just and There's fine. a pool? Huh? There's a pool? Never been. Yeah, there's it. a pool. But there is one. I've also never been. And I'm going to start going because I need to stop looking like a pasty... I need to put the Rodriguez. Oh, to you put the Rodriguez. I need back to get the there, Rodriguez Matthew. going. Yeah. Shit, I mean, what even... percentage do you think? You think you want to be like sixty percent Rodriguez? Like I'm 40% trying Matthew. To, I'm, or... So my mom's maiden is name somebody... is Miller. Is it so Matthew or it's not? It's Matthew, right? It's not. Yeah, it's the full is Matthew. Okay, not Mateo. But why? that would be more Rodriguez. Mateo. Mateo. Well, my whole like dad's side of the family, like grandma and grandpa, and right, all right, the people right. that fucking speak like half English. Right. I need some Rodriguez and me. Pause. <laughs> Big uh, pause. <laughs> pause for this sure. This is an LGBTQ friendly podcast. I mean, we got the pink. We got the pink. pink shout is out for pink. men, dog. I Yo, mean, but, yeah, but shout but out pink. Saying, you know it's, it's, it's a feminine color. Like that's not that's not not true. We should get a rainbow rug. Yeah. You do? That's kind of sick. It's awfully LGBT of you. <laughs> I fuck with it. Dude, imagine if we had like a rainbow. Uh, I Yeah, we should. Dude, do you know word, what though. I had a good what? idea there's for? There's a word, word that they use to like make something. That gay. looks like bacon. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like I've seen it on Twitter and shit. It's a word that like that like the gay community uses to like gay. Like when they say it, when they gay something up. There's what? a word, bro. Yasify? Yes, that's the one. Wait, Yasify? We need to Yasify. What does this mean? Escape. It just means to make it gay. Yeah, pretty much. Yasify. Facts. I get it now. So, dude, I had this idea for sound. I don't know why I'm saying this on the podcast. I'm going to steal it because it's a great idea. But what if, like, we took, like, these sound foam things, right? But put, like, your favorite album art on over the yeah. sound foam. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can make them. Um, and then sold like, You know, it. the acoustic treatment, like, the boxes. Why wouldn't you just... Do the in the spaces between what? Why wouldn't you just put like something that's for album arts in the spaces between because it looks cooler? Does it? It would there be well, less? I'd space. probably make the divots less. Yeah, did y'all make these? 
No. no. I was about to say. How do we make these? Just get a piece of foam and cut Good. lines in it? Get to cutting. Not that I think good. they made it. Somebody made it. Yeah, they made I don't make that. <laughs> I make beats, bro. I make beats, bro. So, um, oh my God. you know who needs to start making beats? Brooks. Facts. The visionary. Brooks. We did, yeah, Mitchell we did the Brooks beats. introduction on this podcast, didn't we? What's that? Did we give him the Brooks story? The, I have a story. Just kind of like the, 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 the importance of Brooks and Sunwood Escape. I think we have. We've given him so much praise so. on this. He deserves all of it. We've given him so much praise on this fucking podcast. I'm about to start being mean to him. I don't think it's enough praise. But we should start being mean to him, for sure. We should. Like, it's sure. not. Hey, hey man. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, Just to keep, gotta, I feel like all the real famous we, we people treat their humble. managers like shit, so we should start doing I don't that. think that's how we should approach it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, Shout out Brooks, though. I wouldn't Shout be here if it wasn't for Brooks. Shout that's out true. me. What else wouldn't you JPA be? wouldn't be here if Dude, it weren't for JPA. You wouldn't be Do here. That. Shout out Mama JPA and Jacob. Mama yeah. JPA. You wouldn't oh, be God. here if I didn't start working at a pizza restaurant. That's facts. <laughs> if you never moved to Wood. I was born there. I thought you, you Damn, just told pussy. me like an hour ago that you lived in a different place. No, no, no. You did. Okay. Yeah. I I'm saying I did. lived in Wood. Whenever you said like we just started our lives out here, I had already gone out to school after I graduated high school from to Kerrville. Yeah, he, he went to a, back, he and then went, I went back. Yeah, he went to a little Understood. shit school. Yeah. Understood. It was not a shit school. Shriner University. You would have stayed there if it wasn't shit. I didn't stay there because of fucking COVID. Then why didn't you go back? Because I didn't want to go to a university, pay all that money, and not be able to do anything. Could have been that good. <laughs> does it, does it, don't you go to a university right now? You do. No, but I'm Texas saying if I if I'd gone back to Shriner, I would have either done online. Or all their COVID rules were fucked. So it was like, oh. yeah, it was terrible. I, but I, 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 I liked the school. Trying? I would have had a, gr- honestly, I, it might've been. I think that's a common theme. A lot, a lot, but like, before, dude, college. the reason. But I feel like that's like, I've, that's common with like the college that I grew up next to, like the same shit. Really? Like, my girl went there for, like, a fucking semester, and everybody, like, everyone there is like, I fucking hate this place now. But it was bumping before that. Dude, it was cool because you got there, and the problem with when we came in there was the class before oh, partied so much. I was friends with the RAs. They told me, like, within the first week, there was, like, piss in the elevators. A, <laughs> a, a shit ton of kids showed up to class, to class like, hammered. Like, not just, like, uh, Dude, like, hammered fucking eating, hammered. Dude. And then, um... All this stuff, people would rack up to like Anytime. hella hours of what? <laughs> what did he say? He said being hammered at any time. Straight edge. Shout out to Pussy. Silver Brooks. Um, but then, so then the year, whenever I get there, it, they're super. They're on high alert about any parties, anything. If there's any whiffs of anything going on, they're like right. not with it. Did but you then, go there at all before what? COVID? What's that? You were there before COVID though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Okay. So I was there for like the fall semester before COVID right. and then like half, like spring semester up to spring break. So it was like up to now, basically. COVID, dude. That's a life right there. And, uh, but then, so then in my class, there's this one kid who's a freshman who's 21 years old named Dog, and he Shout goes by, Jonathan. I probably should not 100 dox 100 should bleep that. 100% need to bleep Let's that. Let's just say, let's just say his name was I'm going to bleep out. I don't know if that's good enough though. <laughs> it's good enough. And he was really cool, but he was 21, he was a freshman, and he just caused trouble. I don't think he meant to do it, Name eight but in school we just docked. he got kicked out of our dorm what's that we his, were in because it was a freshman security? dorm. You know so his then, phone number, his address, mom's I name? I do have his phone number. What about his mom's yeah, name? Yeah, let's pull it up. Father's yeah. name? I'm not. Brothers and his sisters. So he got kicked Pets. out of our dorm. What's his mom's maiden name? I don't know. He, what's he his got, dog's name? I don't know. He has actually, I might know. What street he did he grow up on? Now. And the he ma- he, he like number? married What's the, the girl from Shriner did? that met. You know, remember that? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She stole my fucking flannel too. That she they went to a club and she's like, "Can I wear your red flannel?" I was like, "Sure, I don't give a fuck." I can't believe you expected to get that back. Yeah. Well, fucking anytime I lent anything, she gave it back. Another one we gotta believe. So 
God. Anyways, Dachshund. Every episode too. I feel like everyone that he fucking knows. <laughs> Everyone's just. This in is the, the PSA. If I you just know, dude, I could just bro, edit it out. Your, your information is not safe. Hey, yeah. can you fuck with the thing? We, we can kind of got to hope out. that we remember to cut it. We out. live on real Avenue. Before. That's why you wanted to turn it. Hey, for those of you that didn't fucking hear it that are watching, because I just bleeped it out. I just said my address. Remember when. I'm going to leak it, so... Remember when... Is that this address or your what? parents' house? No, that's no, parents' that's house. No, this address. That's parents' house. Oh, I'm leaking that. My parents' house? Both. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to take me a while to... He's going to... Fr- himself. He's gonna <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to forget to cut something out. He's going to forget for Wait, sure. Wait, so anyways, this kid gets kicked out of our dorm and he gets sent to the apartments. And then one day I'm like, yo, I'm bored as fuck. It was like one night, he was like, all right, come over. And he's like, yo... I'm getting kicked out tonight, so when I move into the apartment, we'll throw a party. And I was like, are your roommates cool <laughs> with that? Getting kicked out tonight. Let's throw a party. He, yeah, so he was like, uh, I was I like, are your roommates cool with out. it? True. And they were like, he was like, I don't know. I haven't met them yet. I'm like, all right, fuck it. So we go to H-E-B, get booze, come back. We're like, all right, let's not tell anybody. By the time we get back somehow, the whole first floor knows about the party that's about to happen at the apartment. <laughs> so we go to the apartment. We're having a good time. Then. One of the roommates come back and he knew that we were partying because we ended up telling him. But he was like, hey, like how many people are here? And like he started counting. If there's any too many. If there's any like advice I can give people is once somebody starts counting how many people are there, you should probably just fucking leave. Like if somebody's on the phone counting how many people are at the party and like you're already at a dumbass situation, just leave. So then like 30 minutes later, we get a knock on the door that's like, all right, open up. And so then um, an apartment. What? Yeah, is this like a? It was an on-campus apartment. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's it's a dorm. Con- so he it's got dorm kicked out of room, the dorm. Which is really all it is. To it's an, an on-campus dorm that you apartment. Pay every month with extra rooms. And then he that ended up hard. getting just kicked out completely because he had a dog. Damn. That's why they. So they threw this massive they, party with four hundred people there. No, dude, it wasn't even a big party. There were like twenty-two people there. That's yeah, a lot. That's why for he a could small count college. Yeah, dorm. I mean, the, the college was smaller than my, it was smaller than our high school than the high school we went to. Like the amount of people were there. But like, it's Not a, by like that I, people, I assume the space wasn't very big. Nah, but dude, it no. I would have been honestly, hella impressed if that man Mitchell, counted four hundred. How, how big are those apartments compared, super compared to this apartment? It's a lot smaller, but f- like twenty people. We were like playing cards. No one was like jumping off the fucking roof. We were playing cards against humanity and like. True. Like. <laughs> and redacted. Chilling. And then they came in and they're like. Oh, I can't believe! Oh my God! They're like, this is the biggest party oh, we've ever seen. I'm like, what? Not quite. Something similar. And then it was the talk of the town. They were like, you were at his, you were at his party. I was like, yeah, I was there. They're like, oh, I was there. I heard about. It. I was like, oh. At first, it sucked. I had to go to this thing called judicial board, where other kids from court. my grade were sitting there. Like, so they put a recorder down in the middle of the table, like I fucking killed someone, and they were like, so. Were you at the party? And I and I and I was like, yeah, I was there. They're like, did you consume any alcohol? And I was like, no. Even though I was Hell the yeah. first person there, I went and Hell yeah. got it. I was. We were taking shots. We were pregame before anybody showed up. And I was like, no. And they're like, so you were I there? They were like, let me get dude. this right, Mister Rodriguez. A fucking hard ass recording. If he was just fully honest, they were like, did you drink it? You're like, Hell yeah, like water, <laughs> like water, dude. I was so, <laughs> just fucking- I was so fucking mad. And I was like, where's this recording going? And they, the dean, I wonder if the dean, like, that was the first sits podcast. in his office at night with ear pods in, just like, like, just fucking, like, does he actually give podcast. that much of a shit? There were, like, 20 kids we could that get had that. to do this. You think we could get that uh, audio? That recording? I don't, dude, maybe. You could just hear me lying. Facts. It's kind That'd of be funny. The, that was the first Sunwood podcast right there. <laughs> that really was. But, I mean, it was fucking ridiculous. And then they, at the end, they were like, do you plea? Do you plead responsible that, or that not tape, responsible? That tape sounds like an intro to the Cheddar Slav EP. Oh, God, dude. Dude, that's a good... Me just straight... Yo, yeah. just lying to just the lying. If you are watching this podcast, I need you to go to this man's Instagram and repeatedly DM him to release music. Me to release Cheddar music? Slav. Yes, you. Not gonna happen. Ask for hands down in specific. Ask for hands down? Dude, this on the old laptop, so I'd have to pull it up. It's on my phone, so... Actually, I could find it on my laptop. It's on my phone, so I need to I remix can it if it, you would like me to. The chorus comes in way too hard. I gotta remix it. And there is no such thing as a chorus that comes in too hard. 
Wait, there's not even a. I don't even think there's a hook. I think there's it's just all bars. Oh, there's a hook. I've heard that something like three no, times. No, there is a hook. There's a hook. Huh? I said there is a hook. Yeah. Yeah. You were like, I don't think there's a hook. I was like, I've heard that song like three times. Oh, there is a hook. I know there's I've a hook. I've heard it far more than three times. There is a hook. I need to do more with it. Maybe and I should God, I, think, I think that song should be the outro to this podcast. <laughs> Are we on board? I don't care. Do you I don't want to, should I do that? We need to do it. William, should hands down be the <laughs> should hands down be the outro music to this podcast? Oh, I just. I did. don't want people to know that I'm Cheddar Slav. I'm you not Cheddar Slav. Cheddar Slav is this artist from Houston that we yeah, met. Nav type. All right, so it's not gonna happen Travis yet. Scott maybe in like beat. a year. Travis Scott started as a producer. Kanye West type beat. You, everybody looks to you as a producer, but you're really one of the greatest rappers of all time. That's, don't you don't you hate Kanye? Listen, rapping? we don't have to talk about that. We don't have to talk about mm-hmm. that. Uh, but I think we that. should since you just I think you just claim that he was I Kanye. think that if Kanye wants to work with JPA, I don't think it's the best business move to uh, shit on Kanye. Can I just say that well, the Kanye's fucking, not watching any the, podcast. The, the, the Kanye not can right I just now. say hot take the Kanye podcast the and documentary. Look, I I respect oh. Kanye. Oh yeah. It's just. I mean, how just, can you not? But the I Kanye documentary should, was it's a little really bit more about underwhelming. other artists. I really, it's really more that I feel other artists. I feel deserve like there the wasn't much hype gets. around it, huh? The Kanye documentary. I, I, have I haven't watched it. a single. It's not that interesting. I mean, it's cool, oh, it's, but it's I like think it's cool. okay. It's interesting. It's just kind of like tweet about it, huh? Didn't you tweet about it or like post something on your Snapchat story or something? No. Feeling inspired? No. It was somebody else. Yeah, he doesn't tweet. You should start tweeting. I used to tweet, and it was just not. It was like wildly racist and homophobic. Whoa, no! (laughs) You're gonna get exposed. No, three years. None of my tweets were no. Just uh, I can't wait for this. Rolling down the window. Screenshots. No, see, that's no, no. My tweets were like. I mean, that's when you were like in the bathroom. Ran out of toilet paper and no one's home. What happened? I'd tweet like in the bathroom. Ran out of toilet paper and no one's home. Be in school, just like oh, I want to go home. No, one of them would be like, oh, my headphones broke. I want to die. I was super into like... That was a tweet I You should have been on Tumblr. That's not verbatim, but I know it was like, my headphones just broke. Can mom... At mom... Like, I added my mom. I was like, can you come pick me up? Your mom has a Twitter? Yeah. She promotes her music. No, yeah. Her... His his mom is like... Yo, 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 Retweets on everything. Um, Everything that Sunwood. By the way, follow Sunwood on Twitter. I mean, facts though. We don't tweet very often, but well, also TikTok. Um, TikToks. We're trying to do more TikTok. Facts. Um, follow maybe a TikTok. little Witted Open sneeze. Verse Challenge. Dude, any, video any artists are. are don't looking. be ass though. Yeah, be good. Because I will report you if you're ass. Wow. I don't for want the what? engagement. What will they get reported for? Being ass. Inappropriate. Uh, Inappropriate. Nudity. Slander. Nudity, I think is what I would report them for. Burp. Nudity. Maybe abuse. Yeah. Um, abuse to my ears. I was going to say something. I might call, like, the police. If it's bad. Docs. Squat them. Swat them. Yeah. Squat them. I mean, like, we just got to ask you what their information is, and you'll give that up real real nice. Nardwar on the case. You know everybody. So. <clears throat> All the dogs of the world. Is he related to stop? No, we gotta cut. I'm gonna cut all this out now. But like, hypothetically, he's not. He's not. Are you sure? Maybe he's, he's related not. to Rufus. I, I was like, bro, is. are you related? He's like, you didn't no. watch the last podcast, so. dude. He, we were playing dodgeball though, so we had like the freshman. I definitely camp. watched it, but I, name sounds I'm, rough. That's insane. If had, you can't remember, there was so much Rufus content in that fucking episode. What, what dude? That? You didn't hear about Rufus? He doesn't remember who Rufus should I, is. Should I jog your memory? Jog, re, let's let's take my memory. He for was a the walk. kid who asked a teacher to go to the bathroom, then went to Got the bathroom, cut. came Got back cut twenty up. minutes later with a haircut. Yeah. There was this kid our freshman year, straight savage, and someone came over the intercom, and they're like, if you're in the English side of the building, when the bell rings, just stay in your class. Uh, There's an altercation in the hallway. 
and we just hear commotion outside. And then we didn't get to leave class for like 30 minutes, which is like halfway into second period. So we finally get to go. We're the best. I love black belt. This like kid, this like special kid, knocked out a teacher. Oh my <laughs> fucking Jesus God. Christ. Did y'all have a lot of fights? First period no. on like have, a Friday. No. You didn't have a lot of fights at your oh, school? No. Oh, that's sad. We had like three. Every, all four your years. entire high school career. All you four watched years. Three it was like fights. Joao who Dude, were having at on. At my high the school, there was a fight yeah, on I the remember, second floor. I remember Joao and that's it. At my high school, there was a fight on the second that, that took up the entire second floor. Like really? there was like 30 people fighting at once. Dude, yeah. that's sick. That's one way to were say you it. Were there? I was like, there, was watching See, it happen. What we, what oh, we had was punches? like almost. Nah, we yeah. had like some random shit involved. at lunch every day where like the D and D kids would like throw a French fry at somebody. No, there was fighting. <laughs> like there was a point. All right, so like early high school, like ninth, tenth grade, even like a little bit of eleventh grade, there was probably a fight like every week, at least once a week. Really? And then Damn. yeah, no, friends was something not happened. Like that. Something happened, and then it just kind of stopped. It was more on the a kid would bring a gun to school and then snitch on himself. That was the vibe of. <laughs> yeah, that did happen. <laughs> you know that what I mean? Sounds on brand to me. That sounds on brand. Um, yeah, it's like, like what? <laughs> he puts um, the gun in the locker. Then just goes talk. He goes and talks to a counselor, and he's like, "Well, where my gun?" <laughs> just thinking about it. Just p- pondering on Dude, the Dude, I brought that up in class one time, and then this other teacher, def- she was like, you didn't know the whole situation. And I was like, no, fuck that kid. I was like, fuck that kid. Like, he brought a gun to school. Why are you defending him? Yeah. Maybe she also I'm not saying, like, he should die, but, like, <laughs> that's not what I'm saying Maybe at all. Maybe she did the same thing when she was in high school. But I'm... No, but I'm, I'm saying, like, the way she attacked me was, like, I was saying, like, he should be locked away forever and never yeah. seen again. But, like, that's not what my... My point was, like, what he did was wrong. He should probably go to another school. He should probably go Get somewhere. help and then continue on. Go to a school on, with Kevlar you know? vests. And huh? Go to a school with Kevlar vests no, and, and just metal detectors. Be. No, he just needs to be put in a different, like, another... In, he needs to be away from whatever was toxic there. Just if, be put. If he's got a problem with the toxicity of of three fights mm, over four years, he's probably he's probably gonna get worse anywhere else. School names. Yeah, that's we're gonna so weird. Like nobody. Like names. I feel like nobody. Like nobody argued at the school. Like so I feel like anytime any two two kids had an argument, they were just gonna fight. Like that was just what they did. Really? Yeah. Like they, they just you guys just talk shit out. No, we just, no, we just we got a lot. Most of the time, we got aggressive. a lot. It was like, like it was like one up. person was trying to fight, and the other person was like, "Why are we doing this?" Well, the problem was when so my Joao, mom's gonna be mad at me if I do this. So this what kid Joao get grounded. isn't a f- kid. No Fortnite. He's from somewhere else. I don't right. remember where he moved from, like North Houston. Okay, but he's not like a typical good. See, I don't understand that. Why you got, why you were why you're weird about like name dropping Houston or, huh? or even do where Houston, we're at now. But it's just so specific. But know. it's not like it's a like a it's not like it's three houses. Uh in that area, like people like even people that live like, I've met five people from this week. That's because we're from but like people that aren't from around and then us. The, Bro, the Don't. last time I was here, What's I wrong? met five <laughs> more people. We were no, in, we were I, there, but we like, were in. Do but I'm telling you, like the block. My the, point is, it's not. Are you from? No, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. The you square, said it's where? The square that the Where's, city where are we talking about? Is in is surrounded yeah, by a bunch of bigger informed. cities. I need to be informed. Where? I don't know where we're talking about. <laughs> I don't think we do though. I really don't. I probably won't. For starters, I'm gonna go through and edit out anymore. names. So that could be an issue, but like, what are they gonna do? Sue happened. us, yo. Free clout, first of all. That it's Empty a thing that happened account. when we Second were in school. All. Like, I said it. I'll take as long heat. as we leave names. I think like of names of students or like, like people. Like, I, we're fine. I think. Yeah, I'll just cut out names of people. Like I just said, Westchester. Like, yeah. But the problem with that's not a big place. The like, problem with is if like people that like. They got like, uh, moms. There's people I know who aren't, who are literally from the town over League City, who don't know shit about. F- they d- they don't even know like. Now they know. We gotta put on. But now put nobody outside. 
Not Lord. need to be put on. Sometimes it's got to be put on. There's people in North Houston that don't know that it is a town. Facts. For sure. Which is crazy to me. Pretty Most much. people who live in Philly don't know what Westchester is. Really? And it's an hour away. Pretty much everyone I've met I mean, here doesn't know where f- it is, but knows where per- uh, yeah, Pearland is. I d- honestly that, am surprised uh, how many people... I mean, because I met yes, from people from Galveston stallion. who don't know... Stallion. Stallion. I don't make this stallion, dude. It's literally like two miles away from... But I feel like you would know. I guess because when you're driving from either or, you go on like 45, so you go around it. Not the off-camera conversation. But mall is in... No, but Mike, it's not like a, in Friendswood. Not a great Ram podcast. Yeah, let's we'll just, get there let's one just, day. We'll, let's just start. Let's just start our own episode right here. We'll we'll get there one day. If we talk quietly enough, Matt can't hear us. <laughs> that fact. I can't really hear him because yeah. it's a different. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. that makes yeah. Sense. We in the same. We linked up. Yeah, y'all are on the same interface. I'm That's on my fact. own thing. Yeah. We need a producer for sure, though. Yeah, that's Definitely why every time producer. I could produce remotely, because I swear to God, I'll do it. That's why every time I, don't I like think that's possible. I could figure it out. <laughs> that's why every time I talk, remember we were talking about into my mic. Matt doesn't hear me, so I gotta repeat it. Yeah, I keep forgetting that. I should have just left his headphone like, off. Yeah, I, I just like, want to be able to hear I feel myself. Like the headphones make sure. are not necessarily all that necessary. I kind of mainly just wear the headphones for the look because like everybody else does at it. All. I feel like I could just hear you like a re- we're just could just have a regular conversation. Yeah, but in the mic it sounds like we're in a podcast when we're here. But then it doesn't feel like conversation, Brooks. Yeah, but it feels like this a is podcast the art of conversation. It does feel like conversation. I feel like a stand-up comedian with this microphone, and it makes me yeah. feel amazing. Well, the reason I didn't want to use Brooks' mic is because it bled. Get all, get all bled let me hear some bit. jokes. But he's got no jokes. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it that was a here. We t- <laughs> we covered a lot of information. Um, wow. That needs to get cut out. What did he say? That one needs to get cut out. What did he say? I think he needs his mic turned off. Wait, what did he say? <laughs> like, I don't even want to. I don't want to make. No, give- I need to just tell me off the mic. What did he say? What do you say? I go, he stands up and said, oh, he bombed. I might leave that in there just because Brooks said it so he can get canceled. He said I had no joke. If we don't yeah. have Brooks, we don't have something. Dude, we really need a producer. And we got to be nice to him because we are like, we need to have an editor who is the producer. We got to be nice to him because we're like, all right, we said this. Please cut it out. The problem with giving it to somebody else is now they have all the power. That's all right, true. He could just cut that shit, export it himself. Super cut. Shout out. Thanks um, for tuning into the Sun with Sunday podcast. You're, we'll see you guys. With it, March time. 18th. Yep. With it, March tomorrow, 18th. Tomorrow. It's going to be up. It's out it's now. Not tomorrow for you guys. With it out now. It could be a year from now when y'all are watching this. With it is currently out now. I'll do a slideshow of baby pictures. All right, cool. Thank you. I don't know. <laughs> 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 so, I don't know. 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 I don't